what is going on guys static leo here and i am back with another video so check it out right here we have the brand new hd cow hood for the cam crew cap and right now i started sanding it because this is going to be my first attempt ever on painting a car part anything i've never painted anything before but it shouldn't be too hard honestly i want to learn how to do all this stuff i want to learn how to work on my own trucks that way i can bring you guys some better content we can do everything ourselves fast we don't got to be waiting on nobody and that's what we want to do that's the plan and i started sanding this thing i'm going to start sanding it all the way from 320 get it all prepped up and then over here we got all the stuff that we're going to need all our chemicals right here our paint our clear coat all that good stuff and over here my boy pi clusters pulled up let me open this up right now they are working on the crew cab getting all the switches right for us they're gonna make everything white in there like i told y'all in the last video and yeah man we're gonna get this hood all painted up this is my first time ever doing this so we're gonna see how it comes out i want to start working on my own trucks i want to learn how to do the drops learn how to do paint this and that because man these shops just take way too long and we don't got time to be waiting on nobody we got to keep making the moves every single day no time to wait right now we're gonna get it all prepped up that way we can take it to our other shop we can spray it over there because we do not want to get no overspray on these trucks spray that nice tan color to match the truck this one's going to be staying chrome all we're going to be painting is the sides which is these right here to match the truck and then um color matched bow tie of course like i told you guys we're going to be running that oem look um, not too much color matching We did a 320 and then a 600 wet sand. So right now I'm gonna do the wax and grease remover, tack ragged, and then um, we're gonna throw some sealer. Got some sealer, gray sealer right here. That way it could cover up that black and then we could throw in the tan on top. So this is my little setup right now. I know, it's kinda ghetto, right? But it's a start. At least we're not outdoors, we're in here inside the shop. So it's pretty enclosed. But yeah, we got some, um, some thinner, we got some reducer, wax and grease remover, and then we got the clear coat, the hardener. We got the paint right here. This is our tan color base coat. And here we got our little gun, little Harbor Freight special, you know, just to start. Uh, we'll see how this goes. If we get good at this, then we'll start buying some good tools, make a nice setup right here. But this is what we got for now. Now wax and grease remover. Get all that dirt off of here. I might be doing this all wrong, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just, <laughs> First time. I'm just trying to make it. <laughs> I'm just trying to learn. So if I'm messing up, it's all right. Don't take it to the heart. All the pros watching right now. And we're only painting the top of the hood. We're not even painting the inside. So yeah, all the pros. Excuse me. I don't know how to do this. But I will learn. There's nothing in this world that you can't learn. Right, Joe? Yep, that's right. Put in your input facts we're gonna learn how to powder coat too my brother wants to get them with a powder coating machine the sand blaster all that that way we can do purple, purple get my suspension purple. right yep we got a lot coming guys this shop right here this is gonna be our shop to work on the trucks and then the other one's just gonna be to store them so big things coming this 2023 so stay tuned now that we got the grease out of there we're gonna take the tack cloth it's just like a really sticky cloth and it just picks up whatever stayed at the end. Picks it all up. Guys, so yesterday they gave us the wrong color. As you can see, they gave us the silver. But I still sprayed it. That way I can get some practice. Um, it's a very nice color. I'm not going to lie. We have the paint right here. This is probably the color we're going to be painting the truck. The whole truck very nice metallic silver but unfortunately it's not the color that we're running right now so i dropped off the gas cap that's probably my fault is i gave him the color code instead of taking the gas cap dropped it off and he's gonna match the paint right now we're back to square one got the hood all sanded we're gonna seal it right now and um, hopefully we get the right color now because i'm anxious to see this hood on the truck 
we gotta paint these as well so we can slap the grill on there and that truck's gonna look a lot better with these little parts this is what that silver color looks like I don't think it would be bad because we don't have any silver trucks. So I think this would be pretty cool. Super metallic silver. Looks good on the blue. We got the hood all sealed up. Not a professional. I don't know how to spray. I'll learn. I'll get my practice. But you know, we gotta start somewhere. I am gonna practice a lot more spraying. This is how we're gonna learn by messing our stuff up. You gotta mess stuff up to learn, right, Joe? Yes, sir. So we're gonna keep practicing, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. So we're gonna be painting everything, man. Everything that we can paint, that's for us. We're gonna try our best to get it done as good as possible. That way, whenever you guys come out to the shows, you guys can see our work. Whatever you guys see on the trucks, it'll be our work. You guys can appreciate it some more. We can appreciate the truck some more. Time that we started working on our own projects. Tired of waiting around, tired of waiting on these shops. Nobody's gonna prioritize your stuff like you. So why not do it ourselves? I mess up some things, but we'll learn for sure. We are back. Hopefully this is the right paint. Check it out. Yeah, this one's like a little more tan. We got our mixture right here, one to one. Mixing the paint. Yeah, this one does have a little different tone. Loading up our gun. That'll work. That'll work. That'll do it. Excuse the compressor, it's recharging. But right now we're gonna use this as our test panel. So we can configure the gun, open up the fan a little bit more. That's where I'm having trouble at. super dry i don't want to get it too wet because i don't want any runs in the paint i'd rather you know need more paint than have too much paint but you gotta understand guys i'm super nervous it's my first time and i'm just trying my best but it looks like we got the right color now it does have like a little tan shine to it and coming out good two three more coats and we'll be good i really need to figure out this gun because Kind of weird. Let's try to figure out the settings though. Look. Mm -hmm. So right here, what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to adjust it to where it can spray smaller, right? I think that's good. And metal. Okay. We're just trying to learn the gun still, how to mess with everything, which is one of the most important parts. We're spraying at 20 psi. We're not spraying too hard either.
Yeah, yeah, we need a new hose. The hose is tripping. That might be one thing messing with it. That's it for the painting part, guys. We already got these little pieces painted too. There's the grill side pieces. Got them all nice and sprayed. Now we're gonna wash the gun and get it ready for clear coat. I can see my reflection on this one. Yeah. What do y'all think? Not bad for my first time, huh, bro? Yeah, it's not it's bad. But yeah, here we have the hood all painted, clear coated. Now we're gonna leave it overnight to dry. And then tomorrow we're gonna be throwing it on the truck. So right here we also have the smaller pieces. Well. We're gonna give them another pass right now, but they got that shine. We got the bow tie right here. Y'all excuse my ghetto setup, guys. <laughs> remember, remember how we started. <laughs> we got the bow tie shining, man. I can see myself on there. <laughs> so tomorrow, all we have to do is assembly, uh, leave everything to dry today. We're gonna coat these two. I'll probably give the hood another coat too, and then we'll be good. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think, guys, of this hood. I think it came out good. I mean, for my first time, it could have been worse. I'm not gonna lie, it could have been worse. It looks perfect. I'm really proud of myself for getting down. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. But man. I've learned that sealing isn't too good. Joe, it's not good to you, sealing. You don't really like it? Nah. I think next time we won't use sealant. Gives you too much trouble, it gets rough. We had to wet sand this thing, repaint it, and then um, clear coat it. So we were getting ready to clear coat it and it felt super rough. So we wet sanded it, resprayed it, clear coated it. Came out good. This thing looks very nice, guys. I'm actually very impressed. For my first time, not too bad. And then over here, we got the little pieces. These are gonna dry up too. These are all nice and clear coated as well. We got down. If this is my first time, I can only imagine in like a year of practicing. We're gonna keep practicing, we're gonna keep getting it. And man, al rato vamos a andar pintando todas las trocas a la verga. <laughs> Different color every month. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, man. Right now we're gonna let this dry for a few hours. We're gonna go get something to eat right now, me and my brother. And then uh, we're gonna assemble the truck. I'm also gonna go pick up a top pad. Um, the one that goes on the top bumper, on the top of the bumper. And we're gonna paint that thing today as well. That way we can put everything on the truck. Yesterday we took off the hood. Do now ass. Slapped on the grill just to see how it's gonna look. This is where those little pieces go. They go on top of this. And this is the little pad I'm talking about. I'm gonna go buy. We're gonna go get a fresh one. That way we can sand it, paint it. We can slap it on. But yeah, this thing is going to look very nice by the end of today. I'm also going to be putting the spindles back on. We're going to lower this thing back down. I'm just going to cut the fenders out. That way it won't rub. For now, you know. Because I want to see this thing on the floor from the front again. Look very nice. And with the new front end, I can only imagine. And that bow tie is going to look real clean right there. With that color match. Yeah, ahorita. OBS is putting work right now. Nah, we're just gonna move the trailer over there. Today we're gonna be whipping the TRX because I haven't moved this thing and I feel like driving it today. <laughs> so 
She's been sitting. She got detailed and she's been sitting. Oh, let's do a little, little start. Excuse me. A little cold start. time I wash this thing it rains but not today so it's been up for a couple weeks but it's time to put it back up Got our top pad. She said we got lucky, it was the last one. <laughs> this is where I get my parts at, for those of you wondering. Team Blessed, car and truck accessories. That's the address right there, so y'all pull up. Come get y'all parts, check it out. We got the hood on there. Color matched pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Right now we took off the grill because we're about to assemble that. Throw the little pieces on it. But yeah. Now, since I know how to paint, since I know, kind of know how to paint, I think I'm just going to order a fender. We'll paint it, paint the two doors. We should be all right. I do want to add that pinstriping back because I think it looks very nice. But we're going to be fixing this side of the truck now next week. Do some more painting. But for now, we're going to focus on her good side. <laughs> right now, we're assembling the grill. We got the bow tie in. Got this side in. Right now I'm about to pop this side in, just like this, like so. Let's get all the grill for the crew cut. Time to slap the grill, my boy. My boys. Time to slap the grill on my boys. Better. Yeah, looking clean. I know how we do, man. Right, guys so that is going to be it for this video we got down painting the hood on the crew cab all the little pieces on the grill i think it looks a lot better with this front end next thing that we're going to be doing is painting the top pad we're going to be dropping the front as well we got a bunch of more things coming this week for this truck um, i think i got down on the hood not bad for my first time um, something that i need to work on is on the overlap whenever i'm painting i need the overlap to match a little better but we're going to keep practicing i'm going to be buying all the proper equipment a uh, good respirator all that this was just it was just a test run just a little practice stuff coming week we are going to be fixing the fender we're going to be changing the fender up painting these two doors that way the truck can match completely on this side so this is the next thing up that we're going to practice on the doors we're going to get to sanding them taking all these trims off these letters and respray them we're going to keep practicing i am going to buy some better stuff like i told you guys as i'm learning some better guns uh, we do need some lamps. One of the main reasons why I didn't paint it that good is because I didn't have no light on the hood. So we're going to need some proper lamps. Other than that, it came out great. 
looks a lot better than what it had of course bad yeah, guys thanks a lot for watching let me know what you guys think of the crew cap so far i think this thing looks a lot better nothing like the truck we picked up a week ago this thing is coming along real nice let me know what y'all think y'all stay tuned for a lot more videos coming on this thing thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you on the next one peace